Two months ago in late August, people in New Mexico noticed hundreds of migratory birds that had fallen dead right out of the sky. Within a few weeks, the numbers had expanded to thousands of birds across other states, including Colorado, Arizona, Texas, and Nebraska. Scientists have been struggling for an explanation as they look to protect birds from other threats. Barry Peterson reports. It's early morning on Colorado's Bar Lake, north of Denver, where the Bird Conservancy of the Rockies is located. Meredith McBurney, who does bird banding for the Conservancy, is on the hunt for birds captured in her nets. So, what do you have here, Meredith? Okay, we have a little, we have a little sparrow that has flown into the net, and we're going to take him out, and we'll put him in a bag. Why don't you hold the bag? Okay. Okay, just hold it. Now, he was flying this way. Mm -hmm. He was looking into the bushes, and he flew into this very fine net. And I'm going to get him out. Banding helps track migration, a migration this year marked by a massive die-off across several western states. New Mexico was hard hit, as University of New Mexico PhD student Jenna McCullough and fellow student Nick Vensagara discovered. It was somber, and we were picking up birds very quietly in our own respective bags, and generally the only things we were saying were just incredulous at how many birds were there. Some experts blame an early September cold snap when temperatures dropped 60 degrees in a single day, killing off insects. If there are no flying insects, there's no food for the birds to eat, and they are more likely to succumb to star starvation. Scott Rashid runs the Colorado Avian Research and Rehabilitation Institute. He thinks smoke right and ash from unprecedented forest fires across the West may also be a factor. Outside for all the ash coming out of the sky and looking at these poor birds and thinking about how small their lungs are, to me, my guess is that they just, they can't breathe anymore. This is another migratory sparrow. Arvind Punjabi is the Bird Conservancy's avian conservation scientist. Take a look and tell me what you're seeing. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I see some western grebes out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course the American white pelicans. There's some Canada geese, not surprisingly. He worries about next spring, when birds migrate back to burned out areas. Some birds nest in the same forest, some in the same tree. I mean, the swaths of burned out trees is gonna be extraordinary this year. Right. So you've got to expect there's gonna be some significant population declines because they just can't find where they used to live. That's right, because the birds do still come back to those areas, but they may not be surviving or reproducing well in those areas anymore. And I think after we see that because after a few more years after the fire, they're no longer there. So they'll abandon that area. Eventually or they die on. off, yeah. yeah. Punjabi co-authored a study detailing a 30% decline of American birds in the last five decades due to things like habitat loss. One way to prevent billions of bird deaths, keep pet cats inside so they don't kill birds. It takes a cultural change and it takes starting them young to keep them indoors and keep them happy. Uh, but indoor cats live a longer life. They have fewer diseases and parasites. So, you know, in the end, it's a win-win for the cats and the environment. Back at the Bird Conservancy. I'll measure the leg. Meredith McBurney is checking size and weight and then banding the birds. And this bird now has its band for life. Then gets a little help from her newest assistant. Put your hands together like this. Now, you have a very important job, as I say to the young children. Do nothing. Okay. And then if you roll him into one hand or the other, so he's right side up, yep. And away he goes. Yep. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'll just stay here all day and do the bird release. Can I get that job? Yes, you can have that job. It's sad to think of the long-term decline of birds. Just watch what birds mean to the children who visit the conservancy to see, to touch, and to find in these tiny creatures nature's absolute wonder. For CBS This Morning, Saturday, Barry Peterson, Bar Lake, Colorado.
Mm, well, that was just fantastic. Yeah. yeah I, and, and important. I'd take that job. I really <laughs> would. All you have to do is just stay yeah, still, as he said. Stay and then still. just roll the, roll the. I could manage. But important. Yes. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, can, we, we laugh at Barry's reaction because he's so, such a natural and so great about it, but it's an important story, too.